Hey y'all, Tiana Brené here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a curly hair routine for my 18 month old son. He does have naturally curly hair and I do want to let you all know that he does regularly get haircuts by his father. So his hair is uh, shorter, it's not like he has super long hair. To start, we're going to be using a spray bottle with just some plain water in it. There's nothing else in that bottle except water. I'm going to be using some tea tree oil. You can use any kind of oil that you would like to use. This is just the oil that we have right now. I'm also going to be using a comb. Yes, he needs a new comb and that's his baby comb, but it still works just fine. I'm going to be using a hairbrush. Even though this hairbrush is two-sided, I am only going to be using the soft bristles. I'm not going to be using the firm side. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I use to wash his hair with. You're not going to see me wash his hair in this video because I do that in the bathtub and I didn't want to show that. So I'm just spraying his hair with some water right here in order to dampen his hair again because once again I wash his hair in the tub so it's dry by now. Um, if I did this straight out of the tub I would not be using my spray bottle but because his hair is dry I will be using the spray bottle. And I'm just making sure that the water is all over his hair and that his hair is wet enough for me to comb through it without tugging too much. And there he is pushing my hand away. And now holding on to the shaft of his hair, I'm going to uh, just comb through it so that I can get the tangles out of his curls. I promise I'm not being rough with him. He just hates when I comb his hair. He does this no matter how gentle I am. I did end up having to turn on PBS Kids for him to get through this video. That's what he's currently watching. If you see like a glare in front of his face, we're watching PBS Kids. See, I just comb over his whole head as best as I can without being too rough with him and working around his busy hands. And this also is my way of detangling. If you use a detangler, obviously you would put the detangler in before you comb. But I don't use a detangler for him. I just use the water. And I'm just rubbing my fingers through his hair now to make sure I don't hit any like snags or anything. Because if I feel snags, then obviously I need to try to comb through it a little bit more. But there are no snags. Before you all say anything, I don't know why his hair grows like that. He doesn't sleep on the back of his head anymore. That's just still the way his hair grows, but whatever. And then we're going to take that tea tree oil. I'm going to put a good size amount in my hand. I put probably like a nickel size amount, I would say. And then just lather my hands and I put that all over his hair and I make sure I rub my fingers through his hair to get as close to his scalp as possible as well. So not only his hair is oiled, his scalp is oiled. And once again, I promise I'm not hurting him. He's just a busy body. So I just make sure I get the front, the back, the sides, literally his whole head. And Julian's hair dries the same way my hair dries so he needs a good amount of oil in his hair because it will be gone in a second then I'm just showing y'all kind of how long it is at the top he does need a haircut but that's okay and then using the soft side of the brush I am just going to brush down his lineup. It is not a clean lineup right now <laughs> because like I said he needs a haircut. But I still wanted to show y'all this because this is what I normally do when his haircut is fresh and I oil his hair like this. Obviously I pull it back when I'm oiling it but I do brush it back down when I'm finished. So even though he does need a haircut I wanted to show y'all that portion of the process. I didn't want to just pretend that I don't do it. So obviously it would be cleaner but I do brush down his lineup back into place when I'm finished. And then that is all. And that is the finished product. And that's usually how his hair comes out. So as you can see, it's nice and shiny and curly. Um, be sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you guys think about this video. And if you want to see more content like this, I really do hope you all enjoyed it. Um, thank you for watching. And I will catch you all in the next video.